Question one, write down the first four terms of the following sequences. So for part A, it says 5n. Now the first four terms mean sub in n is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 5n, 5 times n. If n is 1, 5 times 1 is 1, uh, is 5, sorry. If n is 2, 5 times 2 is 10. If n is 3, 5 times 3 is 15. And when n is 4, 5 times 4 is 20. For part B, now when n is 1, yeah, we're going to have 6 times 1 plus 7. That's 6 plus 7, which is 13. Then we're going to have 6 times 2 plus 7 for the second term. 12 plus 7 is 19. Then subbing in 3, we're going to get 25. Subbing in 4, we're going to get 31. So those are your first four terms of the sequence. Part C, we're going to have 1 cubed as the first term, which is 1. Then 2 cubed is 8. 3 cubed is 27. Then 4 cubed is 64. Part D, sine of 30n. So we're going to sub in 1. Now it's 30n, so it's 30 times 1. So we're doing sine of 30, which we can do all these in the calculator. Sine of 30 is 1 half. Then you're doing sine of 30 times 2, which is the same as sine of 60, which when you type that in the calculator, you need to make sure you're in degrees mode. I'll show you one example here. So we're doing sine of 60, but can you see on the top I have an R there? So you, what you'd have to do is you'd have to go into your setup and change your angle unit. Mine's the A-level calculator, but for you guys, it's a similar process, um, but then you change the angle unit to degrees. Yeah, root three over two. Then we're doing sine of 30 times three, which is just sine of 90, which is one. Then we've got sine of 30 times 4, which is sine of 120. And again, if you want to just type that in the calculator, you should get root 3 over 2 again, though. Yep. And they are our four numbers in our sequence. Half, root 3 over 2, 1, and root 3 over 2. Hey, guys. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you're new here and you want more maths content, then please consider subscribing. If you're learning something, then hit that like button and comment down below to let me know what you want to learn next. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Find the nth term of the following sequences. So for part A, we have 4, 11, 18, 25. Now we can see that it's going up in sevens, right? So remember, the nth term is A plus n minus 1 d. A is the first term, 4 plus n minus 1, and d is 7. We just multiply that in, so 4 plus 7n minus 7. So we get 7n, and then 4 minus 7 is minus 3 to get our first solution. Part B, we have 64, 55, 46, 37. And we can see here that we are going down by 9. Yeah, every time we're going down by 9. So we're going to say a plus m minus 1d. The first term is 64 plus m minus 1. Now for negative terms, we should put in a bracket. Multiply in the minus 9. So we have 64 n times minus 9 is minus 9n. Minus 1 times minus 9 is plus 9. 64 plus 9 is, well, you can add 10, then minus 1. So that'll be 74 minus 1 is 73 minus 9n. And the final one, we have 5 minus 15 minus 35 and minus 55. So here you can see we're going down by 20. Yeah, we're minusing 20 each time. So a plus m minus 1d. The first term is 5 plus n minus 1 times minus 20. Multiply in the minus 20, so we get 5. n times minus 20 is minus 20n. Minus 1 times minus 20 is plus 20. And we simplify 5 plus 20 is 25 minus 20n. 
is our solution now to part C. The seventh and fiftieth terms of a linear sequence are 99 and 744. Find the nth term. So this is combining both the first two steps of the previous question. So remember, is a plus n minus 1d. The seventh term, the seventh term will be a plus. Now n is 7. So it'll be 7 minus 1, which is 6d. And they're saying that equals 99. Then they're saying the 50th term would be a plus. Then it's 50 minus 1. 50 minus 1 is 49. d equals 744. And now we need to solve for d by subtracting the two equations. I'm going to subtract upwards. So a take away a cancels. 49d subtract 60. 9 minus 6 is 3, so we get 43d equals. Then this would be on a calculator paper. So let's use a calculator. 744 minus 99 is 645. And then we divide both sides by 43 divide by 43, we get 15. And then we substitute that into any of the equations. I'll probably put into the first one. A plus six lots of D is 99. Now six times 15, and we could put that in the calculator. Yeah, just to make sure, but we should get 90. We do. is 99 then we subtract the 90 over we get a equals 9 but don't forget they wanted the nth term the nth term remember at the beginning was a plus n minus 1 d so it's 9 plus n minus 1 and d is 15 multiplying the 15 so you've got 9 plus 15 times n is just 15 n 15 times minus 1 is minus 15 so the nth term 9 minus 15 is minus 6. So I'm going to write the 15n first. 15n minus 6. Then part b is saying what's the hundredth term? Well the hundredth term is when n equals 100. So we sub that in. 15 times 100 minus 6. That would be 1500 minus 6. So you subtract them you get 1494 4 to be your solution. The first four terms of a quadratic sequence are 0, 60, 114, 162. Find the nth term. Okay, so we're going up by 60. And to go from 60 to 114, we're adding 54. Then to go from 114 to 162, I mean, we could go in the calculator here. Remember, there's a calculator question. We can just do 162 minus 114. So 48. And then we can quite clearly see that the second differences are going down by 4, sorry, by 6 each time. So remember that is 2a, that is 3a plus b, and that is a plus b plus c. So 2a is minus 6. Divide both sides by 2, we get a is minus 3. Then 3a a is minus 3 plus b is 60. So we get minus 9 plus b equals 60. Then we add the 9 over to the other side. Yeah, 60 plus 9 is 69. Then finally, a plus b plus c equals 0. a is minus 3 plus b is 69 plus c equals 0. Minus 3 plus 69, or 69 minus 3 is 66. So you move the 66 to the other side, you'd get c equals minus 66. So we have n, a n squared, so minus 3 n squared plus b n plus c is our solution there. Then finally, find the 35th term. So when n equals 35, we are just going to sub in. 35 into our sequence and there's our solution minus 1326 is our solution to question 9.